So in this video, I'm going to do a flush of the water tank using this drain valve. As you can see, this is a screw on top of it, which you can use to open this ball valve. So it's a gas water heater. Before doing any such work, remember that the water inside is under high pressure and very hot. Depending on what the thermostat level is, it can burn you. So you have to be extremely careful. Second thing, you should know where the shutoff valves of your water heater are and where are the main shutoff valves to the whole house water. Because in case you open this valve and you cannot close it or water is leaking and you are unable to close this valve, then you should know where are the main shutoff valves to the water heater, which is this one in case, in case of this water heater. And here is my whole water shutoff valve. So once you know this, then you can uh, use this valve to drain a little bit of water with the concept is that the water which is right at the basement around here you drain a little bit of that and all the water sediments which are here uh, need to be drained and the reason you want to drain those is that uh, those sediments cause uh, heat transfer resistance from the gas burner which is under here to the tank and those uh, sediments then cause hot spots and leakage of the tank. So a long technical explanation. I didn't want it to be this long, but just wanted to make sure you know it. So now all of this has been done. So now I'm going to open this valve a little bit to drain and then close it. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to crack open this valve and I'll just keep this bucket, bucket here so that this does not splash here and there. Just a little bit. Yeah. So just a few seconds should be enough because it is under pressure. Maybe 30 seconds. I'll leave it open for that. The water coming out is not that dirty. So it means should be enough. I'll close it now. So the water for the first few seconds, one or two seconds was a little bit uh, murky, but then it was clean. This is what the water looks like. So it is a relatively new water heater, almost three years old. So that's why, and maybe the water quality coming in is good. So I don't see a lot of sedimentation. Uh, you can do it as frequently as you think is appropriate. My opinion is probably every two to three years should be enough. Be very careful when you're doing such a job. As I mentioned, it can be dangerous. And if you are uncomfortable, don't do it. Uh, but this will definitely prolong the life of your water heater. In case of any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.